bullied at school, going through all my wheelchair situation, operation when I was four years old, falling over, hitting my head, you know, cutting myself, bruising myself, and really trying to understand my condition was a really, really big thing in, in my life. And I didn't think I'd be able to race. Um, I didn't think I'd be able to drive a road car, let alone a race car. I've got cerebral palsy, so I can't use my toes to accelerate or brake. And then instead of three pedals, we only have two. We have the hand clutch on the steering wheel here. And I'm very, very short. And to be able to push and accelerate and modulate properly, I have to have the, the pedals quite close to me. We even got a new steering wheel that's smaller. It fits my legs better, so when I'm turning, you know, it, um, my hand or wrist doesn't get in the way. Initially, you know, when I signed for, for Motorbase, you know, a lot of people were thinking that it was sort of a, a waste of a seat. I shouldn't be here. You know, I'm not fast enough. Um, I'm going to be making loads of mistakes and crashing, all that sort of stuff. But, I, you know, I take that on the chin. Uh, initially, it hurt when, when I first signed because it's a big deal for me, you know, being in touring cars. Just explain to us about why you didn't want Lewis to put anything in, because I'm assuming he would have wanted to help you. Lewis has always said, you know, I can, I can help you, but f for me, that sort of gives me an added pressure that I, I don't need. I already have enough, um, being his younger brother. Um, and also, you know, his money is his money. He's worked super hard to, to get where he is today. And, you know, he wants to stay out of the way. You know, he knows that it's sort of my time. It's, you know, it's, it's my world. And uh, he was super proud of Brands. Um, Initially, you know, he didn't know how I was going to get on. I didn't know how I was going to get on. And the fact that we went from you know, P20 to, to P11 in the first couple of laps, it sort of shocked everybody. It shocked me. I realised that I can race with these guys. With Billy Munger making his way up the ranks despite losing both of his legs, the awareness of disability in motorsport has risen sharply recently. The British Motorsport Association for the Disabled has been helping competitors with a range of disabilities to encourage them to go racing since the 1980s. And last year, the FIA launched its Disability and Accessibility Commission, headed up by British racer Natalie McGloin, with a mandate to encourage inclusivity whilst ensuring safety standards are not compromised. Billy has his own challenges, completely different to, to me. When he had his accident, I was like, wow, you know, that must be super difficult being able-bodied and then now being disabled, it's completely changed your life upside down. Whereas for me, it's all I know. I don't know anything else. I only know my condition and I've tried to improve it and improve it. <clears throat> you know, and what, what Billy is, has in, achieved and what he's continuing to achieve is, is phenomenal. Um, and I'm super proud of him. But I'm super proud of the fact that people want to race because of me, but also, um, you know, race because they're realizing that they can overcome their condition if they push forward and chase their dreams. Motorsport can be a, a good way into opening people's eyes um, with the condition, um, especially the parents. If the parents think you know, that the disability is an issue, then the child will always see it as an issue. So for parents to come to me and say, oh, my child has CP, um, but we've watched you and it's given us a new lease of life. We want to now get him to, to race or we want him to run is, is super important. 10 years time, I would like able-bodied people to understand disability more and for disabled drivers to be able to come into motorsport and not actually have to work so hard to get to their car and to be able to just drive it and enjoy it.